Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video about using DaVinci Resolve as your editor slash color grading software. A couple of episodes ago, I made an episode about how to remove junk from your shot you don't want there, and I claimed that I knew two methods of doing so, but since I was in the first beta version of DaVinci Resolve 15, something went wrong and I couldn't make the track at work. So now there has been an update. So now I can do the second method of how to remove junk from your shot. So let's do it right now. Let's go to the edit suite. Okay, so here we are back in DaVinci Resolve 15 and now in beta version number two. Um, this is like a follow-up on a tutorial I did a couple of episodes ago about removing junk from your scene. And, and back then there was something wrong with my version of the beta one at least, so the tracking didn't really work that well. So just continue from last time. So here we have our clip. So let's go to... And we can actually, before we go to the color tab, let's see what's wrong with the clip actually. So this is what's wrong. You see this one? It's, uh, I don't know what it is. Let's call it junk. Junk in my shot I don't want. So once again, this is from a music video and we actually did use this shot. So, and, and I did remove it this exact same way. So let's go to the color tab. And let's go down here to, and by the way, this is also a, a new uh, effect in DaVinci Resolve 15. It's the, the patch replacer. So let's just put that on. So we see we have these two areas and we can move, remove things we don't want, but we, let's find the stuff we don't want first. So let's see where it is in our shop. There it is. So, and then we of course can make it smaller and that's what exactly what we want to do. So the, the idea is it will clone the, the image from here and clone it on here. So let's move it a bit out like that. And then if we go over here in our effects panel, we have all the, the properties and we can even change it from ellipse to rectangular and to alpha. So nice to know. And then also we have um, some details. We can use the sliders and also we can blur the edges and we'll absolutely do that a little bit on this one. So with that uh, being selected, we have to go to our tracker in the window and then go change from window to FX. And then we need to have a tracking point. We just tap and then we have a tracking point here and we have to picture it or put it somewhere it, or where it's visible all the time or on something which is uh, of a high contrast. So let's, maybe we can use a nose, no, let's put it right there. And then let's just track that. And you see, it, it was not good, it was not the tracking it that well. So maybe we'll find another tracking point. What about tracking the, the blob instead? Let's do that. So let's backtrack. So now we are tracking our blob here. This looks quite right. And then we just will remove this point. So and then we have to see where it actually comes out it's there. Something like that. So let's have a look at that. If we removed it. So there you have it all gone. Nasty thing, all gone from the shot. That's just the way I like it. 
So actually you can also, uh, with this effect, you can also clone stuff. So um, if we just go back here and let's, I don't know, do we have something fun to clone? Mm, okay, we can, there's no fun in cloning me, but okay, let's see if we can clone uh, our head. And just uh, very quickly, just do a cut so it's easier to do for me. So go back to the color, go to the second clip here, and then let's uh, reset the node and put this patch on again. And then up here, let's go to clone instead. So you see, we can then clone stuff. if we wanted to, you know. So we can, for instance, if we want to make a lot of her, uh, her heads. Okay, well let's, um, let's go to the tracker and then go to the FX tracker again and then just tap and let's remove this one for a second and then put the dot here. And then we can just enlarge if we want to move it up a bit. And then we we'll track that. Now we have um and of course now it's it's not blending so well, but that is also something we can do something about. So we can just go over there and then it's not a hundred percent perfect, but and it's also a very short co uh, clip, but well, uh, just kind of a fun effect. You can then kind of clone things in like that or remove things from the background you don't really want or, or junk you don't want. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on our channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.